In this lesson, we're going to tell you how to look and apply for your first job and how not to be afraid during the job interview. Most people at the beginning of their career paths start from working for somebody else, even if they've got a business idea themselves. It's a reasonable solution. The first years of adult life are full of things to learn and adapt. But first, you need to find the company and apply for the vacancy. Here are some tips that might help you. Let's start with the job application. Remember to carefully read the job advertisement. It might seem ridiculous, but it's a common mistake. Some people apply for all the jobs they see, not paying attention to details like where the job is, what it requires, or the hours that are needed to work. Some people see the advertisement for a job in the office and offer their services as a freelancer. Or a job might be regular hours and they offer their time at irregular hours, such as during the night. Sometimes it might work, but usually it won't. However, it's not always the case. Sometimes a job might ask for three years experience and you've only got two. Don't let that put you off. Give it a try and think about other qualities that might also be useful for this job. Just try to be realistic. Don't send a blank email. The recruitment process usually starts by sending an email with a CV or a covering letter or your work portfolio. Try to make the best first impression you can. Write a little bit about yourself and never send a blank email with only the attachments uploaded. As far as emails are concerned, try and use a professional email address that gives the right impression to a potential employer. This shows that you're serious and look professional. You might create a Gmail account or only use a, an email provider that's respected within your own country. The email address should contain as minimum your first and last name. Remember the rules of professional email exchange. How should you start your email? What kind of language should you use? How should you sign off? We can't tell you all the advice. These are different rules in every country. But if you don't remember what you were advised at school, make sure that you take time to research how to compile an email before sending off the first one to a potential employer. If invited for a job interview, be, f be flexible. Try to accept the day and time of the interview that was being suggested by your recruiter. If you can't make that date and time, be reasonable with what you suggest. If you're only available at nights or weekends, it looks as though you don't care. When attaching files to emails, make sure they're small and accessible in the format that you use. If you need to email your portfolio, make sure that it's a small file. 200 megabyte attachments won't be welcomed by the recruiter. Also, if you send your CV or cover letter, use a common and universal file format like a PDF or a JPEG. Remember, don't add files that require specific software to open them. If you follow these tips, there's a chance you'll be asked to meet your employer in person. There are some general rules about how to behave during the job interview. You can easily find these online. They cover things such as what to wear, how to shake hands, even what to say. These rules also depend on the country and the company you want to work for. Here we have some general hints that will apply to most of the workplaces. The most important one is do your research about your potential employer. 
at least find out the basic information about the company. Maybe how they manage social media. What projects they're responsible for. What's their hiring and communication style. You also need to know about the job that you're applying for. What are the responsibilities for this position? And of course, think about what your financial requirements are and also why you're a good fit for the job. Talk to your friends, search information on Facebook groups or maybe on LinkedIn. If you know about your employer, then think about yourself. Be prepared to talk about your strengths and weaknesses, but do this very carefully. And you can search online for tools that will help you to do this. Try to be as specific as you can with your skills and competences. And be honest. If you don't know something, don't lie. If you talk about yourself, try to adapt what you say to fit in with the company needs. It's not lying. It's about emphasising things that will be relevant to your employer. In larger companies, recruiters often have lots of people that are the same, boring and have irrelevant information. If you've done your homework properly and know what the company is looking for, you'll know what it is about you that will make you the perfect employee. And finally, the most obvious and most important advice is have a good attitude. They want to find a good employee as much as you want to find a job. Smile, be calm and open to other people. It sounds naive, but usually works.